And now here at the Shell Echo Marathon in Houston, Texas, with Wayne Gretes, the holder of several Guinness World Records for fuel efficiency. How are you, Wayne? I'm good, and uh, nice to have you along, Javier. Well, thank you very much first for uh, bringing us along here to the Shell Echo Marathon in Houston. It was a great experience. I had come before, but this year was kind of special. I don't know, like because it's the last year in Houston, because it's moving along, and because even two years from uh, the past one that I came. I mean, the, the, the things that we've seen are amazing here with these kids making like <laughs> incredible, great, crazy, crazy numbers. Harold, you know, not only are you a friend, but uh, you're kind of a fuel economy aficionado as well. And what we do on the open road, it pales in comparison to what these kids do. They're orders of magnitude beyond what I, I can know. do. So uh, the thing that I want to take away from this uh, Chaleco Marathon is, uh, I mean, in short, uh, like, there's hope, right? For oh. the industry industry, for the world, for uh, for kids, I mean everything, I mean when you see these kids, the energy they have, they are 15 year olds, 16 year olds, 17 year olds, beating like college students, so I mean the college students are really good, but then when you see high school students beating them and like making these uh, incredible machines, it's uh, there's hope, right? There's not only hope, but they're doing it on shoestring budgets. These high schools, they have a few hundred bucks if they're lucky. They, they might find a motor, they might find an engine on eBay for, you know, one-tenth of what it would normally cost. Uh, they might find something in the garbage somebody threw away. And they're bringing this, making these hyper-efficient vehicles that are not only roadworthy and pass all the tech inspection requirements of the Shell Eco Marathon Americas, but then they're getting a fuel economy that's ridiculous. Yeah, I am yeah. so proud of all of them. So let's uh, review a little bit. I don't remember all of them because actually there were a lot of categories. I think there are six and then they give uh, awards for three of uh, in each one of them. Mm -hmm. But I think in the, the gasoline um, category, it was, uh, I'm trying to remember as, as we speak, like over 2,000 miles yeah. a gallon? 2,700 miles per gallon. I mean, you're talking across the United States, not on a tank or two tanks, on a gallon. It's ridiculous. And, and, and for the audience, we have to explain a little bit how those cars are. I mean, the cars is, is pretty much a capsule on wheels with, for one person who is pretty much laying down horizontally and then they they make them as efficient as, as uh, I mean it's not comfortable but it's like very very efficient right very efficient of course there's no air conditioning in there there's no suspension but regardless it's it's the numbers that are just so phenomenal and it, it astounding to even be part of this yeah. and here we are we get to report on this we get to see it and it's amazing so Shell has been doing this for a long long time I over like almost like the original idea came like 70 years ago and then they've been doing it in Europe for like 30 here in the States for eight and they started in California they came to Houston for five years and now they're moving to Detroit mm -hmm. so uh, what 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 do, do you think why do you think Shell is involved in this I mean it might be obvious but what's your opinion on that well you know when you think of an oil company and you think oh boy that's uh, oil and all they want to do is big profits yeah what I'm finding with Shell and again I, I just do minor sponsorship you know can you give us some fuel to do an event drive these people go out of their way to make sure that there is an efficiency side and a safety side to everything that they do. And it's and it's not just about money, it's about making the world a better place. And the more that I work with them, the better and more confident I feel yeah. to work with them. From the executives we talked to here in Houston, uh, they were talking about like, how they, they uh, yes, they, they, they work with oil, they, they create gasoline, uh, uh, oils for engines and all that, but also they take uh, care of water and like they, they invest in that, like to, to see how it can make even that use of that more efficient and, and, and for a longer, longer time, right? Right, and uh, just think when we were in some of those venues, what was the first thing that the Shell exec went before we even started any of the presentations or anything? The first thing they did was a safety talk. Yeah. You know, and that is, I've seen that multiple times. Even think about walking down the stairs, there was a sign, hold the rail. Yeah. When we drive the vehicles under Shell, we can't talk on the phone. That's just the safety culture, and it just shows you where they're heading with the environmental aspect of oil production, and it's a good thing And from what I've seen so far. On that aspect also, uh, it was cool to see the kids. I mean, like they gave awards to kids who like reinforced those uh, 
those rules of safety around the, the convention center here in Houston, like for example, making uh, everybody who walk into the work area wear safety glasses and those kind of things. So yeah, they're conscious about that, and they really put a big effort in that too. Yeah, and uh, and and again, you got to thank these kids. Think of uh, what what you were doing at 14 years old. Oh, you it, it wasn't. <laughs> it was it was not building hyper efficient cars and wearing safety glasses. No, that's no, for no, sure. No. I was doing something. Uh, yes, we mainly, all were. Trust me. Mainly playing soccer. I have to say. It wasn't uh, that bad. I did some bad stuff, but not that bad. <laughs> so wait. So uh, great event. Uh, Shell Echo Marathon uh, in Houston. Moving it to Detroit. But now. You, you're driving to Detroit in this very special car. Uh, t talk about that aspect of, the, of this event, please. Yeah, well, uh, being tasked with first going to the Shell Eco Marathon as an invitee, and I was like, I was flabbergasted. As I invited you and some others, I am so glad that you could come down to cover this and enjoy the experience. But the second part of this is we're taking a brand new 2014 Ram 1500 4x4 with the Eco Diesel. It's got about 26 gallon fuel tank and we're going to try to drive it over a thousand miles on a single tank of fuel. Now Shell is getting a little promotion out of this because they're, they're releasing in a small market this new Shell diesel called Shell Diesel Fit and the Fit stands for fuel injection technology. Okay. It's more detergents to keep your uh, diesel injectors clean to give you better fuel economy down the road. You start using it early walk through they've done that with uh, gasoline with hydrogen right uh, V power yeah the V power yeah. high nitrogen uh, nitrogen yes yeah, nitrogen I'm sorry yeah so they're moving into this branded diesel and it's gonna provide a cleaner diesel for the vehicles that we're driving today as we drive them for the next decade so this car is rated for uh, officially rated for what like about 22 uh, yeah it's rated at uh, 1927 22 combined <laughs> so how are you gonna do this <laughs> well, we're gonna be really careful um, some of the things that Ram yeah, has provided. Give us, give us your tips in general, not for this <laughs> only this drive, but in general, sure. how, how can you be like really efficient while driving your car? Okay, well we're going to be right hand lane drivers, and we're going to stay between the speed limits. If uh, it might have a bottom of 45 and a top of 65 or 70, we'll be traveling between like let's say 52 and 60 miles an hour in a far right lane in what's called a ridge ride to make you more visible. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is try to maintain engine load, not speed of the vehicle. Like most people think you hit cruise control and just let it go. Well, we don't do that. And uh, one of the examples is driving with load. As we see an overpass ahead, I'm going to, whoever's driving, I'm going to dictate with my discussion on how to control the vehicle, we're going to maintain engine load to stay the same as we're climbing the overpass. Okay. 62, 61, 60, 59, 58 is where the top, 59, 60, 61, 62 on the backside. Mm. The engine never saw a change. We had a small droop and then the pickup, the engine didn't know the ch load changed uh, or speed change. It just did what it was supposed to at a very efficient rate. That's going to be one of our techniques that we're going to use out there. Well, I know what, what others are like in general, not, not only for this drive. I mean, okay. like, I mean, how, sure. how should people drive to, I mean, they're not gonna break any records like you do every weekend almost. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> well, do that. Like in one minute, like what will be your one minute tips for people um, to drive around? Okay, let's talk about, uh, you know, aggressive acceleration and deceleration, meaning you're always on the gas or you're always on the brake. You don't need to be. Um, when there's a red light ahead, there's no reason to keep on the gas and drive right up. It doesn't matter what's going on around. You'll reach it, and if it turns green by the time you get there, you never had to stop. Yeah. You're going to save on brakes. You're going to save on tires. Let's talk about how we handle traffic that's stop and go on your a daily commute. You want to open a buffer ahead of you as yeah. they're accelerating away, and then when they stop, you smash the buffer. So you maintain 10, 15 miles an hour as they're going 0 to 30, 0 to 30, yeah. 0 to 30. Excellent. Well, Wayne, um, we're getting uh, to the end of the, this show. The whole show was dedicated to cover the Shell Echo Martha show. Thank you very much again for, for that, for bringing us here. And uh, very quickly, can you give uh, where can people follow you and like, read your stuff and all that? Oh, thank you, Javier. And uh, it was great to have you here. Wayne Gertis is uh, my tag and my name, but it's cleanmpg.com. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, Wayne, and we're going to end the night here in Houston, and uh, we're going to share with all the audience and all our followers on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all that, all the great things we did here in Houston this weekend. And good luck on this trip, and uh, let's talk uh, next week about how you did about it. Okay. okay. Thank you, Javier. Thank you very much. Y con esto llegamos al final de esta edición especial de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network con el Shell Eco Marathon 2014 que el año próximo tendrá su edición en Detroit. Así que nos veremos allá. Yo soy Javier Mota, esto es Auto 060. 
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.